Hey guys, it's your girl Baby Tigger. I'm here to do a request. Yes, okay. So this look was requested by Justine, I think I want to say Marcia. If I'm saying it wrong, please forgive me, Justine. Um, but I will put it on the sidebar, like for who requested it and um, the name of the look. I haven't really came up with a name, but I am going to try to show you guys. This is the look. It's like a red. I don't know if my light is too bright or not. So you guys let me know on that. Um, it's like a red and like a slight like creamish color. And then I just kind of blended them out a little bit. And I did my eyebrow and put mascara on. So hope you guys like it. And we're going to get to it. So what I'm using is the Prozone palette. And basically, that's it. And I'm only using two eyeshadows as the kit. So I've already primed my eye with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And the next thing I'm using, I'm going to do is I'm using, let's see, this reddish color at the very bottom, if you, can, you guys can see that. Okay. And I'm just going to pack that on to my lid and above my crease. So, I thank you guys for being patient with me. I hope my lighting does not suck too bad. I hope you guys can see the colors better. If not, I might have to go back to my other lighting until I can get the problem fixed. Um, so... Yeah, you guys just bear with me. I'm trying to get everything fixed out or whatever. I'm realizing that I need a new camera day by day. So I'm not too happy about that because right now I don't really have the money to buy a new camera. And as I said in my video before, my gift to myself was I was going to you uh, basically when I reach 100 subscribers, I was going to buy myself a new camera. And that was going to be in November because you know have black friday i could get a good sale whatnot so that was my goal so i don't really know guys but i hope that does happen and i did get some fallout let's see if i can get it off a little bit here um and I know my lighting is probably not that great, but I hope it does better justice than the dark lighting because I wanted you guys to see the color. Um, okay, so I'm going to take this brush, which is my crease brush, and I'm going to blend out the red and take it up just a little bit, but just blend it out as I'm doing it. blend it now this red came out on the corners a little more over here than the other one so I'm just gonna wipe that off now what I did was because you see once you blend it it kind of gets like lighter a little too light and I didn't want it to be that way so I just took and reapplied it over again just a little bit because I have a, um, I think you call them a hood lid. So when I open my eye, my lid in this part touches. So sometimes when I blend, I end up blending the color that I wanted to stay out a little too much. So I just go back over it. Now once I do that, I am going to take this color right here, which is like a, um, Kind of like a goldish kind of an orange but once you put it on it's like a soft sheen high sheen look so ooh, sorry rocking the camera y'all and i basically just get some on my crease brush and i'm going to put it in this corner and just take it over and take it over and keep doing that because that's how you want it done now, usually before I do this part, I usually do my eyebrow, but I'm going to do my eyebrow at the end because Justine asked me could I do a tutorial on my eyebrows. And I don't know if you guys see my um, 
simple brown look that I did. But as y'all know, my eyebrows are jacked up, and I only, you know, the piece that's supposed to be over here has been ripped off from waxing so doggone much. But hopefully, one day it'll get fixed. And then I keep dipping in the color because I just want to, like, press it in, like, right here and get as much as I can, like, right here. So you can see a lot of it just, like, in this part. And just keep doing it until you get it. And then we just drag it over. And that is it. Now to clean up the sides, I use, I just get like um, this, one of these, and a little bit of my makeup remover, which I will do a, a video on my makeup remover and let you guys know what that is. I'm not going to show you right now. I'm going to wait. And I just do like this. And it takes off what I don't want. See? And I know it took off like the foundation too, but that's fine because going to reapply just a little bit of anything. Okay. Now, sweetie, all I do for my eyebrows, since they wax them in this shape, I try to keep them in this shape, and since I have to draw on the end, all I really do is take and draw it up like this way, because I want them kind of squared at the beginning. Draw up a little bit. Not too much. And then I fill it in. And I get it as filled as I can. And I try to make sure all the hair is laying down straight because then it'll jack up how you draw. And then I go over, 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 over. And there's my eyebrow. That's all I do. Um, and one is arch, has a little bit of a more higher arch than the other. A lot of people don't really pay attention to that. I see it. I don't know if you guys paid attention to it. But it's just from... Um, waxing my eyebrows so much and I stopped going to the regular place I get them done and got them done somewhere else for a while and they fudged them up y'all fudged them up before I knew it this eyebrow was like half and I was like dude can't be walking around with half eyebrows um the next thing I'm gonna use is my colossal mascara and you just put like one or two coats of that on and y'all go check out my um vid for this my review on this if you have not seen it, comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm going to throw that up in there for you guys. Yeah. And if it's anything you guys want to see or anything, you guys just let me know. Because I will do it. You know, I try to be aware of my crazy faces when you put on mascara. You guys ever notice that you make crazy faces? And this liner that I'm using is so little, but it's from Avon, and it's called Glimmer, um, Glimmer Sticks Eyeliner, and it's black as black. I got it free. My cousin sells Avon, and she had a bunch laying around, and she gave them to me for free. So, I decided to try them out. Now, because they're so little, they're not the greatest thing in the world, to be honest with you. And that's because they're so little. And honestly, these are for like travel. When you're like in a rush and you just need something quick and easy, just grab this little bitty thing and work with it and do what you gotta do. Honestly, because it's not that great. Now, I tried to smudge it out a little bit with a smudging brush because it seemed to like make it work a little bit better, but it wasn't that great. I'm going to tell you all the truth. It could have been better. And then just to touch it up a little bit, my foundation anyway, I'm using my CoverGirl and Toasted Almond, the press powder one. And I went for the clean because it has Noxzema in it. And my face is breaking out a tad bit. So I wanted to eliminate the breakouts. Or, you know, at least have something on my face that has, like, something in it that'll be working during the day. Since I wear so much foundation. Um, so basically, this is the look, guys. 
just something simple. I used two colors out of the profound palette, which was the red here and this one here. And it's quick and easy. Get up and go look, basically. Do two colors, apply your mascara, throw some eyeliner on the bottom, and draw on your eyebrows if you need to, or draw them, make them thicker, or whatever people like to do. Um, and as for me, I like to let my hair down once I'm done with my makeup. So, I hope you guys like this. Be enjoy!